everyone. Welcome back. Uh, today, we're going to be doing another Stephen King movie. Uh, none other than Misery. Um, I know I probably said uh, something about that in the stream. You know, Missouri, the state, just as misery. It, it's it's misery. I'm sorry. It's it's miserable. Not as miserable as, uh, uh, what is that god-awful state? Georgia, I think is what it was. Oh, God, Georgia. Atlanta, Georgia is the worst. But anyway, uh, today, yeah. Today we're going to be doing a reaction to another other than Misery. And so, without further ado... Yeah. Mm. Click, clack. Mm. <laughs> Chanel. 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 Rot row there, Tony the Tiger. Are you okay? Damn. And who is this? Who might you be? You've been here two days. You're gonna be okay. My name is Annie Wilkes. I'm also a nurse. Well, that's that's useful. Take... Not bad. Not bad so far. But the fact that she has this shit in her house, that's concerning. Blizzard was too strong. I couldn't risk trying to get you there. I tried calling, but the phone lines are down. Considering what I had around the house, I don't think there's a doctor who could have done any better. Ooh. Meantime, you've got a lot of recovering to do. And I consider it an honor that you'll do it in my home. Mrs. Marshall, and I, I feel like a fool calling you, but Paul Sheldon might be in some kind of trouble. You mean Paul Sheldon, the writer? Well, everybody sure likes those misery books. <laughs> yeah. If anything turns up, I'll call you right back. I guess it was kind Gotta of have a lot of trust in people to do that, man. <laughs> oh, Paul, I've read everything of yours. The misery novels. I know them all by heart. All eight of them. Very kind. And you're very brilliant. You think the phone lines will be up? I have to call my daughter, and I'd like to call my agent in New York. The roads are open. The phone lines will be up in no time. If you give me their numbers, I'll keep trying them for you. Could I ask you a favor? I noticed in your case there is a new Paul Sheldon book, and I wondered if maybe... Do you want to read it? Well, Only my editor, my agent, and anybody that saves me from freezing to death in a car wreck. <laughs> Paul, forgive me for prattling away and making you feel all oogie. And you can tell me what you think it's about. Maybe you can come up with a title. She's gonna come up with the misery all her own. About Mr. Sheldon's leaving. Bust. He's up and he's out the door. No long distance phone calls. Or Both of these guys look really familiar. I think Mr. Sheldon likes Especially to be out of the, 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 the cabin fellow. who he is. Well, it's brilliantly <laughs> written. But then everything you write is brilliant. Pretty rough stuff, though. The swearing, Paul. It has no nobility. Everybody talks like that. They do not? What do you think I say when I go to the feed store in town? Oh, now, girl, here's one big bastard of a check. Give me some of your Christing money. Look there. See what you made me do. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. Never forget. You know, for a nurse, uh, got a rather, uh, short views. I love oh, Paul. <laughs> I'm sure you mean my work. You love my work. Paul, I'm going to say this once. I might say it a couple times. 
But that lady, she's cuckoo. When you're in this car, you're not my wife, you're my deputy. <laughs> deputy rather be home under the covers with the sheriff. <laughs> Stop. Stop. He's on the trail. If he'd only gone a little further. Oh, I hope I didn't wake you. Starting to become. I got. Oh God. And as soon as I saw it, I slammed my money down. I got the first copy. The agent said she would tell her you were okay, but I'm afraid you'll have to wait till tomorrow if you want to talk to her yourself. Uh, I don't think she talked to the agent. What a poet you are. Great. It's perfect. perfect. Oh, thank you for all this praise, but how is this making me any better? He's probably feeling the same way. It's like, I just need to get the fuck out of here. Wilbur, what are you doing? My cell, misery. I'm scared. Oh, I'm scared. <laughs> God help me. me. I wasn't prepared. Oh. It wasn't an easy time. Don't make me feel sorry for you. I'd love to stay here and chat, but I'm right at the end, and I gotta find out what happens. You dirty bird. How could you? I don't want her fat! I want her! Bring her back, misery! Annie. And I don't think I'd better be around you for a while. Jesus Christ! Don't even think about anybody coming for you. Because if I die, you die. Oh, oh shit. Oh, he's gonna try and walk. Oh, try and walk. Uh. Oh, and they look. They look so bad! His feet look so bad! They're gonna be in so much shit when she comes back, dude. She locked it. Who's the dirty bird now? You poor dear thing. Oh, please. Wait. Oh, you're such a crybaby. Wait. Oh, they're so swollen and... Oh, God. But first, there's something you must do. Oh, fuck. So she's gonna yeah, set it on fire. I know this may be difficult for you, but it's for the best. Now, see, there's a reason why series books end it's hard to keep something going you gotta have an end can't you see it's what god wants you're so brilliant i would think you'd certainly be able to see that help me help you oh my goodness goodness oh yeah dumbass what do you think was gonna happen that's the wilkes farm straight ahead Oh, you better hope winter time lasts a while. I also gotta think how how long it actually takes to get to that point. You know, it, it, it could take weeks, if not months or years. Hmm. I, you know, in a way, I'm kind of wondering what drugs those actually are. This is a very big day for you, Paul. You just sit tight and I'll set everything up. Your new studio. <laughs> Writers do need a place to work. You're going to write a new novel. Your greatest achievement ever. Misery's return. Now you'll make it right. 
be a book in my honor for saving your life and nursing you back to health. The view will inspire you. You just inhale that. I'll be right back. Hmm. There is just one little thing, a crassable bond that it smudges. Hmm. It doesn't matter <laughs> after all. The paper will be fine. Are you sure? Because if you want, I'll bring back the whole store for you. Annie. What? What? What's the meaning? I can't write on this paper, Annie. All he said was paper. That's it. That is the only thing he talked about. If paper makes her mad, I wonder how about talking about her attitude, at, her at her, her anger issues. He's gonna try and pick the lock. Brilliant, sir. Hey. <laughs> Oh, fuck. She says that she did all this stuff, but at the same time, it's like, you didn't have to go and kidnap his ass. But then again, she's fucking crazy anyway, so. Dude, please go back. I don't want to, I don't want to see what's going to happen, man. Oh, dude, you're fucked. You're so fucked. You know? No, no. Oh, dude, you're so fucked. I can understand him wanting to, like, get out of there, but he's so fucked. Can he make it back? Whoo, boy! What have you been doing? I've been sitting here suffering. I need my pills. Please, make it go away. Please, Annie. <laughs> here. In case you think of any ideas. Think of me as your inspiration. No, <laughs> no. See the dents on the door there. Someone pulled him out. I'm sorry, Paul. This is all wrong. What? You'll have to do it over again. Feel my favorite thing in all the world was to go to the movies on Saturday afternoons for the chat. Is it fair? He didn't get out of the cock-a-doody car! Right. Misery was buried in the ground at the end, Paul. So you'll have to start there. Oh, Paul. Will she be your old self now that Ian has dug her out? Or will she have amnesia? Have to wait. Well, she's still <laughs> special, perfect... Oh, misery's alive! Misery's alive! I'm gonna put on my Liberace records. Oh, God. Would you have dinner with me tonight to celebrate Misery's return? Oh, Paul. <laughs> <laughs> He's gonna get you, bitch. <laughs> the story about a guy who drove his car off a cliff in a snowstorm? You see, it's just that kind of sarcasm that's given our marriage real spice. <laughs> Let's do this right. Do you have any candles? I think so. I'll go look. <laughs> I know where he's going with this. Two minutes of the day. Misery. Pour another one. Mm. Damn it. Can we pretend? Oh, 
Here's your pills. Annie, what is it? I only love the writer part of Paul Sheldon, but now I know I love the rest of him, too. You'll never know the fear of losing someone like you, if you're someone like me. Damn! It's almost finished. Sometimes I think about using it. Okay. Put bullets in it. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? God, she's good. You gotta love her, but you hate her at the same time. Hmm. Hmm. Damn. <sighs> That's some sh serious shit that you just read up on there, man. Oh. Ooh. I like just got done taking a break, so yeah, that scared the fuck out of me. Bye. You've been out of your room. My little ceramic penguin in the study always faces due south. Is this what you're looking for? Paul, do you know about the early days at the Kimberly Diamond Mines? Do you know what they did to the native workers who stole diamonds? What the fuck? Hey, whatever you think I'm not doing, please don't do it. It's for the best. No! What the fuck? Almost done. <laughs> God, I love you. What an evil bitch! Hmm. Hmm. Hi, pumpkin. <laughs> You have any new Paul Sheldon books? Wouldn't happen to know if Miss Wilkes bought one of them, would you? By the time that fella writes a new book, she has me set aside the first copy. Miss Wilkes done something? Not a thing. <laughs> Damn! When are we going to develop a sense of trust? How can he trust you? Oh my. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to startle you. He's been missing for quite some time now, and I, I know it's so upsetting. I'm his number one fan. I've got all his books, every sentence he ever put down. I'm so proud of my Paul Sheldon collection. No way, I haven't invited you in. Please. Thank you. God told me to get ready. Get ready for what? To be his replacement. Planet these days. In case you hadn't noticed. <laughs> Must get lonely living out here all by yourself. He knows he has to be there. But just where? Well, thanks, Miss Wilkes, but I don't want to take up any more of your time. Perhaps I could pay you another visit sometime. I'd be delighted now that you know the way. Sheldon? Holy shit! I put two bullets in my gun. One for you, and one for me. We must finish the book. You know, when I finish, I'll need 
need three things. You need a cigarette because you used to smoke, but you quit, except when you finish a book. And you have just one. And the match is to light it. And you need one glass of champagne. It's creepy that she fucking knows that too! This time we'll need two glasses. Oh, Paul. <laughs> How for all those years nobody knew who Misery's real father was, or if they'd ever be reunited. It's all right here. Paul, you can't. Why not? I learned it from you. <laughs> no, 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 the misery, my misery. Get her, Paul. Get her. is how's he going to escape oh 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 he made it <laughs> How would you feel about a non-fiction book? About what went on in that house? If I'd have known you better, I think you were suggesting I dredge up the worst horror of my life just so I could make a few bucks. <laughs> it's weird. Even though I know she's dead, I still think about it once in a while. I want to tell you I'm your number one fan. That's very sweet of you. Wow. Okay, so that um that was that was misery. Um it that definitely fits the name cuz I mean uh, Jordan and I were talking and it's he, he, he it's like every big actor's worst nightmare, you know, or big writer's worst nightmare is to end up at like in a situation like uh, he, like he was in. In Paul's situation, that was probably a, probably one of the best representations of that, you know, and it's like, I, in a way, I couldn't see anyone else playing those roles, and Kathy Bates was spectacular, I gotta say, uh, just playing someone, like, so evil like that, and, you know, it's just, wow. And the, and the scene where the, the sheriff actually gets blown away like that, that was, like, surprising to me. I mean, I kind of saw, like, somewhere he was going to die, but I didn't know how. Like, in one scene, I thought she was going to, like, come up and, like, stab him in the back or something, or she was going to shoot him with the pistol. But no, she comes out of nowhere with a shotgun and just, bam! It's like, oh. And the effects were good. There wasn't a whole lot of, like, special effects, but they were good when the, when the time came for that, you know, like, uh, the scenes were like, his legs were all like bruised and like dented and everything like, Oh, Oh, it was gross, but cool and sad. And, blah, blah, blah. and then like when, uh, Annie shoots the sheriff with, with the gun, that, that was good. That that was that was pretty good, but like, oh, amazing! I I gotta say that, that, that I gotta say it's definitely better than Christine. Christine was good, don't get me wrong, but I I, I gotta say that this one, this one for sure is definitely better. But um, wow, um, if you guys like this kind of content, go ahead and leave a like down below. 
if you are new to the channel, go ahead and subscribe. I know you enjoy it, and I know we will too. And uh, if you want to be extra special and uh, want to support the channel other than just subscribing, you can also become a member, where you also get special perks, as well as Patreon, where you also get uh, special benefits as well. And uh, until next time, bye bye